Hello guys, how's it going? This is MantisMan630 here, also known as Jimmy, and um, I haven't posted anything in a very long time. And because of that, I decided to finally post something to uh, sort of kill off the boredom just a little bit. Uh, today's topic will be how to sex your praying mantids. Now, one of the most common questions I get from uh, people who keep insects, especially amateurs, is how in the world do you tell a male praying mantis from a female? And how in the world do you tell um, a, one that isn't even adult yet uh, male from female? And these questions are kind of easy to answer in, in all reality. They're not that hard to tell apart. Some species are much harder than others, but the majority you can easily tell by a few characteristics. So let's start with those characteristics. Firstly, we're going to, um, I want to skip that for a sec. Firstly, just the overall shape. This is a Tenadira aridifolia, known as the Chinese mantid. It's very common in China and the United States. And these are the kinds, this is the species that they sell uh, in nursery stores and things like that, that, um, give you the little mantic, mantis egg sac that you can put in your garden and it'll eat your uh, eat your pests. So this is a Chinese mantid. And this is probably one of the more common species found within North America. It's also one of the largest, um, although I think one of the Borealis uh, uh, is longer. But this is, this is probably the most common one that you'll find around your backyard, along with the European mantis and the Carolina mantis. Now the Chinese mantid is a very easy to tell uh, a, a species very easy to tell apart uh, male and female wise. The male, as seen on top, this is a breeding pair of course, is much smaller uh, as compared to the female. Females can grow up to oh probably about four and a quarter inches, maybe a little bit more depending on the environment, the temperature, and the amount of food as well as the humidity. The males usually stick around uh, three to maybe three and a half inches, sometimes up to four. So that's one of the most key aspects in telling your mantids apart is size. You can tell easily from this picture that uh, the male is much smaller than the female. You can also tell from this picture that the male is much uh, like lighter built than the female. You can tell the female underneath she is very big and stocky and you can tell that her abdomen is huge it's probably full of eggs as well so the females tend to be larger and also stockier with a fatter abdomen at least in the case of adults the males on the other hand are slimmer um, a little bit skinnier and also their abdomens are not as fat because they don't have any eggs inside Another way you can tell a male from a female in uh, the more common species, and this is for North America being the Chinese, the European, and the Carolina, with these three species, one of the most key aspects aside from the size is flight. F adult females don't really fly because they have uh, so much weight on them because of the eggs. And if you see a mantis and you uh, provoke it, and it flies off from the ground, 9 out of 10 chances that's a male. Now this does not apply to some of the other species found in other parts of the world. However, the majority of the ones you'll find here in the United States, males will be able to fly from the ground up and females will not, um, at least not fully developed adult females. So that's one of the key aspects. Another secondary aspect is from the antenna. The males tend to have longer antenna because they need to use that during flight in order to pick up uh, the pheromones emitted by the females. Um, so that's one of probably the, well that's, that's I guess it's another way you can tell. However with mantids they often get into fights and they often uh, will lose sections of their antennae. And that's also another way uh, that can cause problems with sexing and that is because well, when they get into violent fights and when they have molting problems or something, their antenna might break off. But just memorize the size, probably the most important aspect, as well as the uh, just the general shape. Males tend to be skinnier, 
females tend to be a little bit fatter and more well built and stockier. Um, another way, and this is an uh, this is for adults mostly because adults are way easy to tell apart. But what about juveniles? Juveniles, you can look at the abdomen. Um, this picture is not mine, of course. <laughs> I don't have a good enough camera to take pictures like this, but I will put it uh, put all the links, the two pictures I used in the description. But this is a male uh, right here on the on the right, and this is a female. You can tell them apart by looking at the amount of segments on the bottom of their abdomen. Females have uh, five segments, actually six if you include this section back here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. If you don't include that, five. With males, it's eight segments. Not include well, it's eight, but if you don't include that first section, it's seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, wait. Oh, that's an entire section right there. My bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yes, males have eight sections on the bottom of their abdomen, while females have six, uh, or five and seven, depending on how you look at it. So that's another way you can tell apart. This is probably the best way for telling juveniles apart. Um, usually within two or three molts in from uh, from the first instar, you can begin to see a, a, a little bit of a difference between the male and the female with the abdomen segments. Another way you can tell, and this is a, it, it's not as accurate, but the last way you can tell aside from counting the abdomen segments is actually keeping the mantis from egg to adult. Young mantids, um, it, they, they grow a lot faster um, in the beginning of their lives than they do in the end of their lives. And the males tend to grow faster than the females. In fact, the males usually molt before the females molt. So if you have a few individuals within your collection that's growing a lot faster than others, chances are those are males. However, it's not exactly 100% correct. But it's another way you can tell males from females. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you found it a little bit interesting and a little bit uh, informative. And as mentioned before, praying mantis, if you look at it, oh my goodness, and you're an amateur, you have no idea whether it's a boy or a girl. But once you see the different characteristics and the different aspects within the individual, you can fairly tell, uh, fairly, easy to, fairly easily dis distinguish the sexes apart from each other. Uh, next video, it's probably going to be about breeding. I don't have any praying mantises with me right now but I'll try to use some pictures and give a guide on how to breed them. But for now, it's going to be all this. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's been, uh, it's been forever since I posted anything, but stick, stay tuned to the channel. There are more things to come. All right, guys. See you later.